everyone, welcome to this week's edition of Soundcheck, the programme that showcases up and coming British artists, allowing you to explore new and diverse music. I'm your host, Rhea Sunshine, and we're joined this week by alternative electro band This Machine Is Off. This Machine Is Off are a four piece band best known for their hard hitting and energetic live performances. The band has been working hard to get a collection of powerful, rhythmic, and catchy songs since they formed back in 2006. And with no further ado, please welcome. Mission is off. Hello, guys. How are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> Sound. Good yeah. stuff. Good. Now, first and foremost, how did the band come about? Um, well, we, me and Ian, been together. Ian, Booney started the band at school, basically, um, back end of school, so like 16, something like that. Uh -huh. um, it's gone through various stages since then. Uh, we picked up these lot on the way, like uh, Gav, picked up me, uni, college, uni, uh -huh. and Rick very recently in the last year. And you've had some changes drums. of lineups over the years. Yeah, we've had a couple mm. of guys who've kind of come and come and gone since then as well. Probably two or three. But they've never gone. Different guitarist, synth player. So you think you're, you're, you're strongest now? Yeah, I definitely. Yeah, no, they got me in the band, haven't they? <laughs> Oh, is that it? Oh, yeah. Cut that bit out. No you can't call me guns. <laughs> <laughs> now, how would you describe the music that you make? It's like electro dance, isn't it? We just want to make people dance. Yeah, go on, Gav. Mm. That's yours, that is. Yeah, that's Gav's. It's fierce beats. That's all it is. Fierce beats. <laughs> beats. So, who would you say you're like if there's a band out there at the moment that kind of is Ooh, similar to you? Personally, I wouldn't say we're like anybody. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I don't want it really. No, 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 I'm, I'm kind of glad, even if, even if we don't sound. Yeah. Uh, how can I put it? Professional. I'd still prefer to sound as we sound. Yeah, I mean, there's obviously bands doing like similar. Somebody else. There's bands yeah. doing similar things, but you don't really want to compare yourself to them. Yeah. Yeah. So you're new. There's no respect. one like you. No. Hopefully, yeah. we'd like to think that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now you've been described as giving really energetic, lively performances. How important do you feel it is to really kind of get going on stage? Oh, it's no, yeah. important. Yeah. So if you're on stage really going for it, you find that the crowd interact well with that. So if the yeah. crowd, say sometimes we'll be around, so the crowd are going for it, helps you go for yeah, it as well on stage. Yeah, I mean, if you're not giving 110%, yeah. you might as well yeah, not yeah, exactly. right. yeah, so. And at the end of the day, everyone likes to be abused, and that's what we do to the crowd, just abuse them. <laughs> and just come back for some more, and that's, <laughs> that's the idea. Lovely. <laughs> now, what's yeah. been the best gig you've done to date? Oh, oh God. As our lineup now, or...? Whichever you prefer. Ever. Uh, Hot chip, that is my review. Yeah, that. this is a good one. Yeah, uh, that was a, yeah, nice. a vigorous weekend of yeah. fierce was, beats that was. That was, the first, that was my first gig as well, oh, these, yeah. these mm, boys. Oh. Yeah, just like a bit completely rammed out club in uh -huh. uh, Brixton. Um, it's Hot Chip, supporting Hot Chip DJing, so it's like quite a big event with a main support for them on about, what, 12 o'clock, something like mm. that at night. It's just absolute madness. Yeah, like people queuing down the road in Brixton for them, so it's Brilliant. It must have been a pretty amazing feeling knowing that many people were there and not necessarily simply there to see you, but no, they were no, there but and like they experienced you. it, so it's good, yeah, yeah. And good they stuff. went for it as well. So yeah, you know what I mean? Now, you're from a mixture of the South and um, Northwest, is that right? South? Yeah, yeah, yes. South, South Manchester, yeah. yeah. That from Staffordshire yeah. and then Cheshire. Okay. Broader, so, yeah. How important do you think the different cities that you come from are in bringing, kind of bringing together your music? Important, I'd say they're a pain. Mm. <laughs> Do you think it's a hindrance rather yeah. than a help? Yeah. <laughs> a nightmare, to say the least. Uh, no, to, to be honest, like we've just been pretty much bang smack in the middle Sounds of the country. We've got like the Stoke connections and venues, and then we've yeah. also got the Manchester. We can go anywhere, you know, we're not, we're not stuck right at the bottom of the country. Yeah, like some yeah, London bands true. never leave London because mm -hmm. it, it, you know, it's too far to go anywhere, but we can, yeah, it's true. we've got pretty good links. You know, we've got Do you have a favourite city that you've performed in? <clears throat> uh, Probably going back to London again, really. Yeah. London. But because it is just the place, you know. Yeah. Manchester. Yeah, Manchester's, that's that's Manchester, yeah. Manchester, yeah, Manchester, Manchester's yeah. always a good place. Sometimes the crowds can be a bit funny. Just yeah. Cool. But that's Manchester, a Manchester thing. Is. Manchester for you. Do you find there's quite a mixture of the kind of north south divide in terms of how audiences interact with you whilst you're on stage? Um, not it, really. I think it depends more on like what other bands are on the bill and stuff like that rather mm. than the actual crowd because people are into different things, aren't they? So. Uh, yeah, I think it depends on this, who you play with us. This sort of relates Rather back to crowd. how you say, are you like any other band? Because I, I don't think we sound like any other band. We always get put on with bands that, that I don't think sound anything like, like us. Like yeah, yeah. So we're like, there'd be loads of other bands and there'd be us, and then there'd be like the same set of bands. Like, it'd be like Oasis, and especially playing Manchester, like, it's like Oasis style bands. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Us, 
more Oasis style bands, those kind of scenes. So how do you like find that. that the audiences react to you in that case? That they might be there to kind of see an Oasis vibe, but they're getting kind of alternative electro. Well, they dance. We, we, we yeah. always try and like <laughs> break through. We always, the, you always see people at the back of the crowd and they're not really coming into it. And then the by, by, the by three the or four tunes in, they're at the front, so like giving forward. it large with you, throwing their hands at you in your face. So that's, that's what I like to see. Good if I can, stuff. even if I can just go and, well, not, not so much impress one person, but uh, you know, sort of make an impression on someone is um, it's, it's worth going for. Enough, that's how yeah. I think of it. Brilliant. Now, back in 2008, um, you won the Jack Daniels Soundcheck competition. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and from that, you went over to Memphis, Tennessee, yeah. and you recorded in the world famous Sun Studios. Tell us about it. Uh, probably one of the best, best weeks ever, ever, really. Uh, all expenses Epic. paid. Hilton Hotels. Hotels, transport. Um, the recording, obviously, trip round the, the museum, Jack like Daniel's it. brewery thing, because it's obviously all tied in together. Is that a highlight? Uh, yeah, it's pretty yeah, good. I, 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 yeah. yeah. I missed that one. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah. Well, we have to say this is before you actually joined the lineup, yeah. Yeah. so you weren't a part of that experience. But I'm sure it kind of reflects on everything you've done since then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, so it's always there. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a good, you know, it's a good thing to. Uh, it's, it's a to benchmark have, to go um, past now. Yeah, you know that that was got to rise it above was, that. It's all, it's all well and good. We've done that, but now it's actually trying to get, get to it, that next level. Make right? it yeah. go, so, yeah. what is the next level? Game. I don't know. Making people dance. <laughs> yeah, signed. Yeah. Get signed. Hopefully, Absolutely. hopefully, with some luck. Mm. Definitely. Don't, don't get us wrong. We're not in it for the money, like. Oh, no. But I am. <laughs> well, you are. <laughs> you are. Well, you're a drummer, yeah, right? Yeah. That's what drummers do. Just getting reaching wider audiences in it and getting mm -hmm. that kind of better respect from more people, which is, you know, it's always hard to get out there, like. But I think going, get, doing some gigs abroad would be really good. Yeah. 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 Get a tour well, talking about that, actually, I was going to ask, you've played yeah. all over the UK, yeah. but if you could play anywhere in the world, where would you choose? Japan. Japan. Yeah, yeah. Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere like that. Well, I, from what I know of, I've never been. But um, really into kind of electronic like, music over mm, there. There's a lot of bands stuff. that we've, we've some bands we've played with and don't know of, like in our kind of genre, that do really well over there. They just seem to pick up and take off. And we tear them really apart well. And they Plus, it's, it. just, it's just so far away from home as well, in such a different That's culture. Right. Mm -hmm. I just think it would be awesome to kind of see, see that whole thing, like, you know. And we can go on one of those crazy shows as well. Mm. <laughs> We could be catapulted across. Yeah, yeah. Ninja Warrior. Yeah. Ninja Warrior. Yeah. 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 Catch his castle. Yeah, yeah. 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 Now, I hear you've recently recorded a video. Yeah. Um, mm. And a little birdie tells me it was to do with the illegal rave scene or something along those lines, and you kind of capitalised on that in the video. It was basically was a technically illegal rave um, in Beach Caves, which is just down the road from here. Uh, it was done by a couple of students from... Here. From Stafford, yeah. Yeah, from Stafford um, as well. Yeah, it's uh, basically just told a load of people to come up. We're recording a video, it's a free gig. Come up and have a dance for us, kind of thing. Place turned up. <laughs> Within about five Talk minutes. Did you yeah, involve them in the video? Um, no, they, they, they kind of just disappeared, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. they wanted to, that's why they first turned up. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> I think the video pretty much speaks for itself. It's, uh, it's on the old MySpace. And and YouTube. Facebook and all that, like YouTube, yeah. So, so with the video, did you literally just capture the party goers, or did you have a kind of theme? Um, we had the fire, fire blows, didn't we? And yeah, it's just like, a, like a big, a big party, really. Just everyone, yeah. everyone going for it whilst playing, mm -hmm. you know, like one of our new, songs, yeah. kind of thing. And it's obviously freezing. The bar, yeah, it was mid October, wasn't it? Twenty yeah, so. sixth of November, it was. Was it? It was at minus yeah. two, and I was half naked. <laughs> that, naked. Why else would people not? <laughs> Not want to see the video other than for that pure yeah. point. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Everybody go. Everybody go. <laughs> Everyone don't watch it. <laughs> uh, now, finally, what can we expect from uh, this machine is off in the next twelve months? Some worn-out dancing mm. shoes. That's I can assure you. A lot of blisters on people's feet. <laughs> yeah. uh, hopefully, got a few, quite a few gigs coming up over the summer. Like, hopefully, a few outdoor ones, like small festivals. Mm. Um, yeah, some new recordings, fresh recordings, most likely, and just some more videos. More videos. Take Next it, week, take it the uh, year, 2011. She'll be there. Touch wood. There you look. Where's there? Touch wood. This machine is off. Thank you very much thank for joining you. us. Thank you. Thank you. Like what you hear, you can hear more from the guys on their MySpace account. It's myspace.com forward slash TMIO.
Uh, now here we have our Challenge the Band segment of the show. On our board we have a collection of words which are relative to music related questions and to tie in with your band name, all the categories start with the letter T. Now you have 90 seconds to answer as many questions as you possibly can correctly and you're competing to get onto our leaderboard with Trip Hazard currently holding the top spot with four points. So as soon as you're ready to go, select your first word from the board and I will give you a question. Okay, uh, so. The longest concert tour, Use Your Illusion, ran from May 91 to July 1993, but which band did it run for? Was it A, Guns, Guns N' Roses? Roses. B, straight away? Told you, anyway. Sure? Yeah. yeah. Correct, next one. Toes. <laughs> which one are we going with? Toes. <laughs> How many tattoos does Cheryl Cole have? Is it A, 5, B, 3, or C, 4? 4, 4. I'm afraid you're wrong. Is it 1? She's got one on her leg. It's five. One. Oh, animal. Television, television. Television, yeah. Uh, which British band was so unimpressed by being asked to mime whilst appearing on an Italian TV show that they swapped their instruments for live performance? Muse. Was it A, no, sh it Biffy <laughs> Clyro, B, The Arctic Monkeys, or C, Muse? Muse. 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 Correct. Uh, oh. <laughs> take, take that. Tarantino. Tarantino? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tarantino. Which, uh, who sang the theme tune to Tarantino's Kill Bill film? Was it A, Brenda Lee, B, Dusty Springsfield, or C, Nancy Sinatra? No, Nancy Sinatra. Oh, no, I don't know. We should go for it. Nancy Sinatra. Correct. Yeah, take that. <laughs> Which one? Take, take that. that. Yeah, yeah. Take, take that. How many UK you. number ones have take that had? Is it A8, B13, or C11? 13, I would have guessed. Uh, I'll go 13. 13. 13. 13. Fade you wrong. 11. Uh, it was 11, yeah. Uh, go on, Jake. Uh, you're the take that man. Trumpets. <laughs> How many vowels does a standard trumpet have? Is it A4, B2, or C3? <laughs> Three. Well done. And that sound signals the end of the game. You managed to get a total of four points, which means you're in joint first place with Trip Hazard on our leaderboard. Well done. Thank you, Chuck. Yeah, great with that. It's all good. This machine is off and now going to play us out with a performance of PKD. And you can check out more of their music at myspace.com forward slash TMIO. All right, well, this machine is off and this song is called PKD. Trying to make it out, trying to make it out You watch your struggle, watch your struggle along Trying to make it out, trying to make it out And you tell me what for And I cannot say Cause I've come undone And I cannot tell you Cause I know you too well Cause I know you too well You people keep dancing Yeah, people keep dancing And people keep dancing And we'll never have to stop You people keep dancing Yeah, people keep dancing As long as people keep dancing and we'll never have to We're trying to make it up And you tell me what for do you tell me what for? Yeah, we struggle, yeah, we struggle along Trying to make it out, trying to make it out You watch your struggle, watch your struggle along Trying to make it out, trying to make it out And I cannot say Cause I've come 
dead And I cannot tell you Cause I know you too well And I cannot say Cause I've come undead And I cannot tell you Cause I know you too well You people keep dancing Yeah, people keep dancing People keep dancing Then we'll never have to stop You people keep dancing Yeah, people keep dancing As long as people keep dancing Then we'll never have to We hope you've enjoyed watching. Join us next week on Soundcheck for another instalment of fresh new music. See you then.